can't be by you all the time, but you're on my mind. You see, that you are one of the special, incredible people in my life. I know I'm gonna make you. Yo, what it do? It's your boy NTZ King, and I'm back on your screen. First of all, let me clarify this. For okay, if you don't know something about somebody, don't start fucking on and talking shit and talking rumors. There was this one idiot on TikTok that said, "Yeah, he probably got shot for being a gangster." First of all, I am not a fucking gangster. Before I made that video, I had hair. I cut my hair, and I already said why I cut my hair. I got cut my hair because I got frustrated with my hair. Because everybody that knows me, from my from my girl, from my mom, from everybody, everybody knows that every other three days I cut my hair and I cut my sides. But right now, since I have, since I had surgery, I wasn't able to do that correctly. So the easiest thing was for me just to chop my whole hair off. And. For you to sit there and say, I got shot. Dude, do you even know me? Do you even know my story? Are you even paying attention? Just because the song is saying something different doesn't mean because I got shot, nigga. The reason I chose that song because that's a song that me and my brother used to bump to back in the day. And it's just a song that, uh, me, that reminds me of my brother. So that's the reason why I chose that song. Just because somebody chooses a song doesn't mean, oh my god, it's because it's what the song is saying. Like, like literally the song says, I'd rather die than go home. i rather, no, that's not, that's not the case. I just chose that song because I like that song because it reminds me of me and my brother. And for you to sit there and say, I got shot, you're starting rumors that are not even true without you even freaking knowing the real facts. Like, come on now. And if I don't post when people ask what's wrong, whatever, I tell them go to my YouTube channel. Because why do I have to explain myself on there already when I already have it on my YouTube channel? There ain't no need for me to explain it twice when it's already on a YouTube video. So for you to be ignorant and say stupid shit, talking about that, oh yeah, because I probably got shot for being a gangster. And first of all, I'm not a gangster. If I'm down with anybody, I'm down with my mom and I'm down with God. That's who I'm down with. I'm down with my family. I ain't down with no Mickey Mouse bullshit. Cause at the end of the day, you don't see me just wearing one color. I wear all kinds of colors because at the end of the day, mama didn't raise no damn fool. I ain't no idiot. That kind of ticked me off when I seen that. I seen it just a little while ago, um, on my on my TikTok or whatever on one of my things, and it's like, what the fuck? And then <laughs> one of the comments tripped me out too, cause this one dude he posted in Spanish, and I really don't read. I I know how to speak Spanish, but I don't know how to write it. I barely know how to read it, but I started tripping out because he was asking me if I'm Chinese. <laughs> and nah, bro, I'm not Chinese. Yes, I got Chinese eyes that runs in my family, but no, nah, I, I, I'm Mexican-American. I was born in the United States, but Mexican runs in my blood, so I'm Mexican, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny one though That one right there did trip me off on another one But the other one is like stupidity How are you gonna sit there and say something stupid Without even freaking knowing And I'm sure you I'm sure you said that Because since I look bald But as you can tell my hair I'm letting my hair grow out again But like I said too The reason I cut it Because I was already frustrated I was bored Because I, I can't really do anything Today I couldn't even go to church I had to watch church from a um, live stream because I still can't go to church yet. And this fool wants to sit here and freaking, boy, yeah, I got shot. Nigga, get out of here, bro. If I would have got shot, that's what I would have put. I got shot. But why am I going to be fucking a phony baloney and be like, oh, yeah, I got shot when I don't damn well will. That's not the case. Like, Y'all freaking sit there and make a fucking bullshit that then ends up into a rumor and then ends up to fucking going everywhere. At the end of the day, I'm not tripping because I know I didn't get shot. And like I said, at the end of the day, I don't have to keep posting when people ask. Oh, that's why I just say, if you're interested and you really want to know, go to my YouTube channel. It's already on my I don't have to keep explaining myself to anybody if it's already on my YouTube channel. I put it on my YouTube channel for a reason. 
So if I don't want to explain myself, I don't have to. The only person I I, have, I feel like if I really want to explain something to, they really want to know something so bad, it's like my mom, my dad, my girl, you know, my family, people that I'm close to. But I don't have to go explain it to every damn stranger who's asking me, oh, what happened? No, if you really, really want to know, go to my YouTube channel. That's just how I feel. But for you to go making up bullshit and saying that, oh, yeah, I got shot. And I'm in, uh, I'm in the gang, like, come on, how oh, man, hell yeah, I'm down with my mama, that's who I'm down with, shit, I don't know who you must be down with, but I'm down with my mama, and I'm down with God, that's who I'm down with, I'm down with, <laughs> shit, let me put it like this, I'm down with my, with my familia, man, like, get the hell out of there with that shit, gang banger, man, shit, you lucky I ain't no, no damn gang banger, bro, <laughs> Cause if not, I would have told you. I would have told you all big time. But you know what I'm saying. Idiots will be idiots, and idiots will say whatever. And at the end of the day, though, that's your dumb ass. But with that being said, I hope everybody has a great, amazing Saturday. And I am about to get ready to go wake up my mom to shower. Because I need a shower. And it's funny because me and my mom, we stayed up actually to like almost 4 in the morning. Because I couldn't go to sleep and she couldn't go to sleep. So she was literally in here in my room. We were fucking cracking up jokes and shit. And she's like, you already look sleepy because you took your sleeping pill. I'm like, man, mom, I ain't sleepy. I'm wide awake. And then I went downstairs and I got some hot fries. And I got some cranberry grape. But I didn't even need the hot fries. I was going to eat them, but I ended up falling asleep. So I just, I put them in my basket, so. And then I was sleeping good, but my baby brother woke me up cause, uh, to see what did I want to eat because I have to take my medicine right now. So I just want pancake. So I really wasn't feeling anything. But anyway, so I'm about to go and probably wake up my mom so she can take me a shower. Well, not take me a shower. I'm going to take myself a shower but so she can turn the water on for me because I can't bend down. Um, but Because now I get to take a fully shower. And I had to put my medication on. So, yeah. But I'll see y'all guys in a bit. And, like I said, if y'all really want to know what I got surgery on, go on Vlog 12 and it will tell you right there. And for the rest of the people that, you know, support me and show me love, appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all in a bit, though. Chill. What's up, fam? I got out of the house. We went to Burlington, now we came into Five and Below. And I'm just exploring, because so I've never been in this store. So I'm just exploring, then I am think I'm going to Marshalls, I believe. So I'll see y'all in a bit, though. Chill. What's up, fam? I'm at Target now. Came to get some shampoo and some cream that I need for my moisturized skin. Look nice. I will catch y'all in a bit though and I hope everybody's having a great time and I'll see y'all in a bit though. Chill. Yo, what's up everybody? Hope y'all had a great Saturday today. My Saturday was chill. My Saturday was chill. Um, the first Saturday I was chill. I didn't get to make it to church. Um, because... The simple fact my ass ain't even supposed to really be. I have to be really careful, like, right now since my thing's not doing good and I'm putting medication on it. Chill out, bro. Since I'm putting medication on both of my uh, nipples, like I told y'all. And then, you know... Stop. That's my brother with his hockey stick. He got a damn hockey stick with a hockey puck. I don't know for what reason, but yeah. Um... But anyways, um, stopping oil, uh, dang, you see, you don't mess me up on what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I didn't get to make it to church, but I did see church on, um, on stream, on live, and it was great. I felt like I was there, and, um, shout out to Pastor Andre for, you know, sending prayers my way. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everybody at church for continuing to keep me in their prayers. 
um, means a lot to me. And um, he literally had asked me for permission, though, like if it's okay for me to, you know, say a prayer out loud or whatnot. And of course it is, you know. The more the merrier. I've been getting prayers, you know, from people from Instagram, people, people from TikTok. I really haven't posted so much about my surgery or anything on my Facebook. Um, I don't know why. I just, I really haven't. If, and, and if anything, probably just on Snapchat too. But I really haven't posted anything on Facebook. It's been more through like, you know, TikTok, well, because I do videos and then people ask like, they ask, what's this? And then when they, when I had my, my tubes, they were asking like, what was that? When, you know, and, um, my Instagram, I did as well. But I don't know why Facebook, I haven't, I haven't shared it or anything, you know, and then, you know, YouTube is my main channel where it's actually, you know, it's been told. It's just something that I kind of wanted to like document it so people can know and not to be scared of you know your biggest problems in life like you know you gotta face your fears sometimes whether you want to do it or you whether you don't like i said for those of you if you have Lynn syndrome or for those of you if you have cancer and you ever feel lonely you feel like nobody cares nobody's there if you ever want to just hit me up or you need somebody to hear you hear you out like i said just dm me y'all could email me my email is actually in the description below you could email me you know and i've been i've been right now having a lot of people tell me you know like man you're strong and you know you're my hero a lot of people either lost their you know their fathers their mothers and that's that's hell of sad because it's like I can't picture my life without my mother and my father and to know that my father actually had cancer and overcame it and he won it. He's a cancer survivor. That makes me feel blessed. But it just breaks my heart when I hear people tell me, you know, that, you know, their their fathers or their mothers or, you know, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, cousins, friends, whatever, you know. It, it hurts me because, you know, like I've told you already, I lost all my aunts from my dad's side to cancer. I lost two of my uncles to cancer. I lost two of my cousins to cancer. I lost a few people also on my mom's side to cancer, but cancer runs more on my father's side. And, you know, it just hurts because it's like, did they deserve to die from that disease? No, they didn't. And since, you know, I have an opportunity to pre get pre prevented from, you know, having whatever the cancers that I could get, which is from brain cancer to skin cancer to breast cancer. That's the reason why I got this surgery for. This was for the breast. Um, I, you know, from a lot of other cancers. And, you know, cancer is no joke. A lot of people think it's all fun and games until they actually have it. And a lot of people sometimes are so cruel that they make fun of people. But you shouldn't make fun of anybody. If anything, you should be supportive. And, you know... Having cancer, having the syndrome, it does change people. It changes your moods. It changes everything. One minute you could be fine. The next minute you could be feeling depressed. The next minute you could be just feeling sad and down. Don't want to be bothered because honestly, that's how I had been. And that's how I had actually been before I actually had found out I had the syndrome. And when I read all the paperwork and when the doctors talked to me, they told me that, you know, all that comes with that. Because it's basically like... Not saying that you have it, but it's basically saying that you have the syndrome, so you actually still have the same. It's kind of like a 50 50 deal. You still have the same symptoms that as a person that actually has cancer. And you know, it's, it's no joke. It's really, really bad. And it's, it's hard when you feel alone. Like you can feel that people are there for you, but at the same time, you feel alone. You feel like, you know, you get deep in your damn feelings and you just feel like, damn, nobody cares, this and this and that, you know? And um, even though, you know, people care, but you just feel that way. And like I say, you know, it sucks because it, it deals with a lot of, you know, it deals with a lot of pressure, you know? Like your life, your life ain't the same. You know, you're living 
you're living like in a different dimension in a different world like there's a lot of people that could sit there and say fuck it yolo you only live once i'm still gonna do this i'm still gonna do that but i'm not one of them persons i'm one of them persons that i want to live long enough so i'm gonna do whatever it takes in my power to fight it to overcome it and to be like you know what i made it this far and i'm not giving up without a fight because i never give up without a fight that's on everything that's even on the girl that i love i will never give up on her i will never you know stop loving her because at the end of the day when i love somebody or i love something that big i don't give up i keep fighting until i win because i'm a winner i don't give up and you know what i'm saying somebody actually mentioned like you know it's nice to know that your girl's still by your side even though you know you have this syndrome and you know and it comes a lot like it comes a lot to the plate because you know my my girl she has problems of her own and she actually hits into depression really bad and it kind of sucks on both ends because it's like at at times we're both feeling depressed it's like damn how can we help each other out when we're both feeling like shit you know so it's like I try to find ways to bring back like good memories from like the beginning from when we first started dating and I try to bring all that memories back just to try to get a smile on her face you know and you know it's kind of like we kind of give each other all the same advice it's like hey but remember you said this and hey remember you said that and that's just how we try to help each other out you know life's not easy and you know we're both still young we're she's 30 i'm about to be 30 i'm 29 about to be 30 in in april and you know what i'm saying we're still young and for us to be going through all this stuff is crazy because a lot of people could sit there and be like, oh, you know, they're happy, this and this and that. And it comes it comes a long way, you know, from trying to be happy, and, but at the same time dealing with stuff like this. It's like, you know, and then on top of that, having kids is like, sometimes you got you to gotta fun and put a smile so the kids won't wonder, like, you know, why they're sad, why they're down, this and this and that, you know. Um, but like I said, you know, I appreciate all the support that I really am getting from everybody from, like I said, from from YouTube, from Instagram, and mostly, never in my life did I ever think I would get that much support from TikTok, so many views, I'm already at 1k something hearts, and I've been getting on there a lot that, you know, I'm an inspiration to a lot of you, and I really appreciate that, I never thought I could be an inspiration to anybody but the people that actually knew my story and and knew what I'm, I was going through, you know. And I'm also a person that, you know, I got bullied a lot when I was a kid. And I don't tolerate when it comes down to bullying. So when you bully somebody that I know, or whether, you know, it's my brothers, whether it's my sister, whether it's my kids, whether it's my mom, whoever the hell you're bullying. And, and if I find out and I know about it, I'm going to take matters into my own hand because I've been bullied and I don't tolerate with that. Even if I see somebody, if I'm at a school and I see somebody bullying somebody, you better believe I'm going to go up to that kid and be like, hey. Because at the end of the day, a lot of parents don't sit there and take the time to tell their kids, hey, you know what? You need to not be a bully. Because there's a lot of kids out here less fortunate than others. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I used to wear payless shoes. Now everybody's like, damn, bro. You, all you got is nothing but Jordans. This and this and that. I have my whole Jordan, damn Jordan collection right here. And I've had some in my closet. And I have like the ones of my daughter and my son and then of my brother on my wall. And so everybody's like, damn, you got a shitload of Jordans. This and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, uh, how'd you do that? Da, da, da. Like at the end of the day, guys. It's not even about the damn mark, <laughs> it's not about the damn brand. As long as you got a pair of, of shoes on your feet, that's all that matters. It's like me and my girl were talking about it. Because back in the day, I used to rock uh, Champion a lot. 
And I still remember my parents had bought me three. I had three champion shirts. I had the white one, the red one, and the blue one. And I believe they had bought them for me at Ross. This was, I was only like seven years old. I used to rock champion like, like them, no tomorrow. I even had shoes. And it's crazy because champion, they started selling them at Payless. Next thing you know, they, they came back out and now they're selling them at the mall. So it's like, you could sit there and you probably make fun of somebody that was wearing champion. But now I'm pretty sure you're over there fucking rocking something champion. So what does it make you? Like, never, never do that. And one story that stuck with me was because when I was in middle school, there was this, there was this little Indian girl. I was older than her. She was young. And, you know, we had like two, three classes together. And she was really, like, fragile. Never really said anything, you know? Because, you know, she was bur- she had barely came to America or whatever. And she was an Indian little girl, you know? She spoke English pretty well, though. And if I'm not mistaken, no, I'd rather not put her name out there. I'd rather not put her name out there. But for those of you that follow me and if y'all went to school with me in middle school, y'all know who I'm talking about. This little girl, um, one day she went to school and she had on some light-up shoes. And they were a Barbie. And man... Everybody in the entire school was making fun of her. Man, that shit right there pissed me off. Like, literally, I told everybody, like, man, y'all need to stop being some damn bullies because at the end of the day, y'all don't know her situation, you know? Like, I remember that little girl. She cried and cried and cried. So what I did, I went up to, up to, I went up to her and I told her, you know, it's okay, you know? Like, that's not your fault, you know? It's not your fault that that's the only thing your parents could afford. Like, don't worry as long as you got, you know, shoes on your feet. And she was like, she was just like, no, it's because, you know, I I hate that they always make fun of me and this and this and that. So I was like, nah, you know, don't worry, you know. I'm like, I, I'm like, don't worry, you know. Whenever they bully you, I'm always going to have your back. So then one day I got home and it was probably like a week later I got home and I was just like man you know like I felt so bad and like at that point I started you know I would wear I would rock a whole bunch of like um case was and stuff and I had a whole bunch of chucks and fat farms and, and shoes like that that were in style back in that time so there was a pair of case was that I had that I really didn't didn't really you know rock as much anymore and they were still in good condition because even my girl and everybody tells me damn you got a new pair of shoes and half of you know most of my jays my girl got them for me but half of them i bought myself <laughs> but um let's call it um this little girl you know she, she, her parents couldn't afford a good pair of shoes that's my little brother bro get out she, this little girl, you know, her parents couldn't afford that because they had just moved, you know, to Dallas or whatever. So what I did, I ended up, um, I ended up, uh, one day, you know, I cleaned out my closet and stuff and, you know, I was like, man, I'm going to give her a pair of shoes. So I had told my mom and my mom's like, oh, you know, that's fine. So I remember when I... I went, when I went to school and I seen her and I was like, hey, I got something for you. And she was just like, you know, freaking out like, what? And I was like, yes, yeah. so I'll put them out the backpack and I'm like, here, you know, I got you these. Um, I'm like, they're not new. They were mine, but, you know, you can have them because I don't wear them anymore. But she literally, she literally cried and she was just like, oh, thank you. And she took, she took off her shoes and she put those on. And she's like, I owe you for this big time. And I was like, nah, it's fine. So then when everybody found out, like, they started saying rumors that supposedly, you know, that if she was my girlfriend, that I was her boyfriend, that we're going out. And I was like, man, people are just so stupid. Like, it's just being the kindness out of my heart to help her out so these idiots wouldn't sit there and bully her. So if you're a bully, man, don't be a bully because you never know the struggle of somebody. And... Most bullies nowadays, they're bullies because they don't actually get what the hell they want. So, 
basically if you're a bully you're just a douchebag it doesn't make you any cool by making fun of somebody because at the end of the day that especially for the guys that doesn't make you any manly that makes you just look like a coward especially if you bully a girl so for all y'all douchebags that bullied that girl at school y'all really douchebags and to this day if i could tell each and every one of you and call you all out by our names i really would because y'all all are douchebags for making that girl cry and making her feel that way um you know i don't tolerate with bulliness i hate bulliness because i got bullied when i was a kid and to this day you know people still bully me and you know they try to sit there and say this and that but i don't sweat it i shake it off my shoulders at the end of the day i know who i am i know what i have and it just it is what it is and like i say you know you know for for my kids if you don't fuck with my kids be you fuck with my kids you fucking with me don't fuck with my brother be you fuck with my brother you fucking with me don't fuck with my nieces or my nephews when you fucking with them you fucking with me and at the end of the day you know bulliness is just it's stupid and a lot of schools are just pissing me off now one days because first they say they don't tolerate bulliness but then when you go and talk to them and tell them that your child is getting bullied it's like they don't take precautions of it they make it seem like you know like like it's a damn joke they don't take precautions until a child ends up committing suicide and it shouldn't have to be that way it should be that they should take precautions so a child won't have to commit suicide and so yeah you know i do not tolerate bulliness and just like i don't tolerate a lot of other shit that i don't tolerate you know what i'm saying and i just you know i'm just there for everybody i don't care who you are i don't care you know I don't care of your nationality, I don't care, you know, uh, of your gender, you know, you are who you are, whatever makes you happy, whatever flows your boat, at the end of the day, that's you, is your life, you get to live your life as you please and as you want, God loves you how you are, so never let nobody tell you any different than that, and, um, yeah, though, I did, um, I, today, I actually, though, got out the house, went to the store with my parents, my parents first, they went to do laundry, then they got home, and they chilled for a few minutes, and we left, me and my mom, my dad, and my little brother, we ended up going to Burlington Coal Factory, then we went to Five and Below, then went to Marshall's, then we ended up going to Target, and we were kind of though, really in it now, it really, we really didn't stay that long, and the reason I had to go to Target is I had to go get this, um, for my head, the moisturizer, because, like, I have dandruff, but they told me instead of using dandruff shampoo to use, um, moisturizer, so, and that's for, that's for dry hair, so that's good, and then, this is a bad, I love this cream, it smells like, it smells, it's a cherry, I used to use, my mom used to use this on us a lot when we were little, and the doctor told me to use this again because it's for moisturizer and dry skin, and that's what I have, so I had to go get that stuff, and, you know, I spent time basically with today with my, with my parents and with my little brother, but it did hurt, um, I had to walk really slow because, damn, the, the procedures, my wounds, they were freaking hurting, and, hey, bro, give me, give me the white thing and give me the water because I got to take my pill. It's already 11. Oh, my bad, guys. Hold on real quick. Bear with me because I got to take my pain pill. This fool, he said he had to take the smell test. <laughs> nah, but yeah. And, and it's crazy because <laughs> my girl, she loves baby lotion. And it was crazy because for, for Valentine's, what I was going to do, I was going to buy her a shitload of baby lotion because she hadn't had baby lotion in a while. Close my door. <sighs> Close it. I was going to buy her some baby lotion, but it didn't give me enough time because then I had to go, you know, have surgery and stuff. But my girl, love, he's obsessed with baby lotion. 
and um, I just need this lotion though because this one is actually for moisturizer and dry skin and that's what exactly I have long lasting moisturized for beautiful soft skin <laughs> leave that there but yeah guys that's how my day went today though um tomorrow i really don't know what's going down hopefully i see my brother tomorrow hopefully he comes tomorrow he might he might not i'm not sure and that's my brother jj that's what i call him jj uh Hopefully he comes by tomorrow because I haven't seen him. Like, what? What? He what? Last time he came was like what on uh, Super Bowl Sunday. That was the last time we saw him. Um, oh no, 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 no! No, actually, it was the day before I had surgery when I saw him because he took him to his house to spend the night. That's yeah. That's actually the last time that I saw my my brother, and because I didn't see him no more after that because when he dropped my little brother off here and I was in the hospital, but um. Hopefully, he probably stops by tomorrow. And, um, yeah, that's all. That's how my day went today, though. It was, you know, pretty chill. And, but I do, I do miss my girl like crazy. I can tell y'all that much. I'm a kid, but I did, I, I do be messaging her, but, like, she gets real busy. Cause, like, she, like, today she was clean. She was moving the rooms around and stuff. She started, she would send me, like, a video in the morning, and she sent me a video, like, just a while ago, but, uh, yeah, so she, you know, she stays busy with the kids, but we do be messaging here and there, and usually, you know, she'll call me, or she'll ask me, like, how I'm feeling and stuff, but, I know, she's been like, that has been crazy, and, um, there's no way to stop it. Just to tell you, it's made, it smells but, uh, like cherry. Oh, and then after that, after we got done shopping and all that stuff, we ended up going and picking up some food. We got Chinese food, and then we got McDonald's, and I finally tried them French bacon. fries, them them bacon, cheese fries from McDonald's. They weren't all that. I expected better. My little brother, he liked them, but I I don't think they were all that. They were I. Right. They weren't all that. What? What do you want to say? It was clickbait because it didn't really have all that bacon. <laughs> it was clean bacon because it didn't it hardly had bacon and it hardly had any damn cheese it was more like it was just regular fries my dad even told me he's like how much did you pay for that i was like three dollars he's like what and i was like yeah three dollars he's like man that's crazy he's like they didn't hardly give you no bacon or no cheese and i'm like man i know that's fucking crazy but yeah um that's how my day went though uh better than just being stuck in the house because I was already tired of being stuck in the house but anyways with that being said guys I hope y'all all had a great amazing blessed Saturday and I will see y'all tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog and um, thanks for all the love and support that y'all show me and a lot of people some people been asking is this my girl's name? No, this is not my girl's name. This is my mom's name. <laughs> I have the A right here on my on my wedding finger for my girl. Because my girl's name starts with the A. My girl's name is Adriana. So, <laughs> this is not my girl's name. This is my mom's name. And all these other tattoos have other MTZ. That's for... I actually have a video explaining all my tattoos. But... This is probably the only one that wasn't in the video because this is like the, my brand newest one. But my very, if you want to know what my very first tattoo, it was a letter N because I got it for him, for my brother. Uh, but now he actually wants me to get his actual name on me. So I don't know where I'm probably going to get. I'm probably going to get it somewhere. And this one, all my tattoos have a special meaning though. This one, it represents for my baby brother, baby sister that passed away. My, he or she would have been going on 19 years old this year on April the 18th um so all my tattoos have special meanings but if you want to watch that video I have a video already on that but the only one that wasn't on that video is this one this one represents my cousin who passed away with the and the cancer river re represents her and everybody who I lost to cancer and I'm getting new ones but y'all will see those when when as soon as I can get them, but 
I'm trying to, I, I'm kind of trying to fill this one, but I think my next one's going to be right here. And I'm not going to tell y'all what it is yet, but that's going to be my next one. No, 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 probably my next one's going to be right here. Well, actually, at, hopefully, once they finish with this side, I'm probably, the first one's probably going to be right here. But then, I don't know, because I already want to get one already, so it's probably going to be on my arm. But anyway, though, anyways, though, with that being said, um, like I said, thanks for all the love and support. And don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Join your boy MTZ King, and I will see y'all tomorrow, and I'm out. Chill.